what is up guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the ffr shop but only temporarily i wish i could tell you guys that it was a beautiful day outside but uh rain out for today's plans seems like every local track around here and from what i collect from all my friends on facebook that everybody's raining out. Like, I don't think we've raced here in South Mississippi in over a month since the last race at Pike County. Every race since then has been rained out. But if your track's been rained out and you're watching, let me know in the comments below what all tracks have rained out and when's the last time you've raced. Because I think only a handful of my friends have actually been able to race. But anyways, I wanted to give you guys a uh, quick look before we actually get into the plans for today, which is installing the seat on Wyatt's 12 EP3. Um, I did a live stream yesterday on my face, on the Facebook, FFR Facebook page, and I'll let you guys know of this. The 12 legend is no longer a 12 legend. It is three quarters of a legend, almost like my finger. But anyway, so what we've got here is the legend car is officially boxed up or not boxed up taken apart i've got all the parts right here i've got the car ready to go and it is time for it to get shipped to washington so i just wanted to show you guys that i didn't film any of this but i may just may if you are interested give you a video of the boxing process and actually shipping that off i wasn't going to but um if you are interested in that let me know but on other news, um, something that I mentioned in the live video is the Bandolero, which is right here, is also sold. So it will be leaving the channel. So no more Bandolero, no more 12 Legend. Unfortunately, sad day, but that just leaves room for new projects. So anyway, you guys enjoy the video today. We'll head down to the barn while Austin and Dad are up in Illinois and we'll get to work on the 12. So with it being a nasty day, I figured why not take advantage of a shot video. And since all of the team, excluding K9 and Wayne, so pretty much Dad and Austin, are up in St. Louis with Travis, I figured it would be a great time for me to mosey on down to the barn and do some tedious work of installing Wyatt's nice LaJoy full containment seat in the XK9 Now 12 car, which you guys, if you've been following the channel long enough, now know that that is Wyatt's car, no longer K9. But uh, what I've got is, you guys don't know this, but my welding machine exploded on me. And now I'm about to break it again. Golly, my welding cart fell out. All right, well, hold on. Let me get this put back on, then we'll come back. All right, take two. <laughs> that was embarrassing. But uh, anyways, my welding machine exploded on me the other day. And so I'm in the market for a new one. But in the meantime, like you guys just saw, which was not too smart, I'm taking my welding cart and my my uh, welding gas and all of my stuff down to the barn and i'm gonna hook up dad's welding machine to gas so this whole time dad's lincoln electric uh welding machine we've been welding without gas on it and it does have the you know the capabilities of being or having welding gas hooked to it so i'm gonna see if i can hook this up to dad's and the goal today is to get Wyatt's seat bars put in so that we can cross that off the list. We do have our next race on July 16th, which will be at Outlaw Speedway. It is the same night as you heard in the video before this as the Hot Shot Shootout up at Jackson. Still, as of right now, don't have any plans on going to that race. But like I mentioned to you guys, Austin and Dad may show up never know with them but anyway i want to be prepared and have wyatt's car ready in case we don't get rained out and uh that way 
we can at least get, have his seat position right. This is just a guess from the hip because I'm shooting from the hip on this one because I don't know how Wyatt likes his cars. I do know that whenever he was in the Legend car, he sat extremely high up. And so I don't know if that's how he's gonna like it in the Stinger car because he's never driven one, but I'm pretty much just gonna wing it and see if I can get it somewhat mounted. And then if we have to change it a little bit later on, we will. But before we get started and I forget, I do wanna let you guys know that um, our YouTube channel, because of the growth, we really appreciate that. And from all the subscribers, we have now unlocked a new membership feature for our YouTube channel. So I believe it's like a dollar and you get special uh, like emojis next to your name when you comment and stuff and just special privileges. I'm not too educated on it. I just got the notification. So I did set that up. If you guys would like to look into that a little bit more and help support our team, all it does is gives us a little bit more funds to be able to make these videos and helps the team out here and there with miscellaneous parts and objects that we need for these cars but if you are interested in that like i said i think it's a dollar and it gets you a little special icon next to your name but with that said let's get in here and see if i can get this gas hooked up if that's a success i'll show you guys what i've got so far mocked up on white seat and we'll go from there so i've made it down here i got everything set up does not appear that dad's what a machine just with how old it is, is accepting the gas. I don't know if it's his trigger or the way he's got it modified, but anyway, we're gonna go with it anyway. I've tried to do some test welds on this and I don't think the gas is actually coming out, which is weird, but anyway, no big deal. So I'm gonna show you guys this. This is the mock-up of Wyatt's seat that I have in here. You can see he's got a really nice LaJoy seat. So I put this bar across to kind of get a general idea of the height, which I be believe is right. So all I have to do now is I have to mock up a bar for the back to come across so that the seat mounts can bolt in from the back. And then I've got to build a loop system and tie into that bar over there. So I'm gonna come off the bottom bar and go down, or I may even come off of this bar right here and come across and then come back and tie into this back bar. So it'll probably be a pretty lengthy time lapse here. I'm not gonna explain a lot of it and show you guys all the cutting and stuff like that. We'll come back once I get everything taken out and get the bars cut and fit in there. And I'll show you guys that before we weld it out. And uh, hopefully by, I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour, if I'm lucky and the welding machine works, I'll have this loop done and we can call that a job. I may come in here afterwards and move this shifter over just a little bit too. I'm not sure yet, but for now, let's get to work on this seat. First things first is I made sure that the seat was in the position that I wanted it to be in, which it was. Then I took some of our old roll, roll cage tubing that I didn't need anymore. And I went and found the exact spot that I wanted. And this is pretty much it. So I'll show you guys and walk over to the car, but this will mount over on the left side of the car. And then I fish mouth this and cut another straight piece just like this and fish mouth this in. So this will be like, as you're sitting driving the car, just like this. 
that's how it'll look. And so that'll mount, and then this will mount to the back of the cage, like so. And this will weld up, and that'll weld up, and that'll be where the actual seat sits, and we'll drill the holes, and we'll put our seatbelt mounts and stuff here. So I'll show you guys. Take this over there. The next thing we have left to do is the back bar, which goes across the back. You can see this one already has one right here, but that seat actually is way lower. And so all I'm gonna do is just weld another bar from right here to right there as extra support. But I'll show you guys this right here. So you can see that'll mount right there. And then that one goes just like that. So that, let me see if I can back it up. There you go, is the X. And I'll weld it in just like that and that'll be done. So we'll do that, but I gotta put that in first so that I could set the seat on top of that so that I know where my height is for this mount. And then we'll be able to mount our seat belts and stuff there. So let's get this welded in next and then put the seat in and figure out where that bar is, cut that and weld it out and that'll be all she wrote. Son, I'll tell you what, that's dime wells there, dude. Dad's water machine. I think the gas is working cause uh, that's one pass around that. It looks like great. Everything looks good. Laying down some really good penetrating welds. So this thing, solid. So that's done, which is awesome. And uh, it's nice and straight. You can see it's in there really well. I like the way that fit is. You can see it follows perfect with that cutout on the bottom. It goes right along as it were to connect right in. So that's good. I'll be able to weld a nice seat belt mount over there. Actually, there's one right there. So there's that seat belt mount and this seat belt mount and this one. So we're good there. So all I have to do now is put the seat in and sit in it and mark my center and then figure out where I need to put that bar in the back and we'll be done with the seat belt portion. I do have one gusset that's got a hole in it over there on the welding cart that I'm gonna weld dead center right there. I guess I probably should have done that before I welded that in, but I can weld it like somewhere right in here or I can just drill a hole out. Yeah, I can just drill a hole and put the seat belt mount through there. So that'll work out. So let's get this seat in and uh, we'll see where that bar needs to go and then we'll throw some paint on it once it cools off. Get you right up here on the wheel can see good out of the dashboard and i know wyatt is about the same height as me so i've got it pretty much mocked up for wyatt and me it's going to be really close probably for a Flem and kevin maybe not kevin kevin may be okay but like uh if anyone were to test drive it wyatt's ultimately going to be racing it but I know Austin and Kevin, they do a lot of troubleshooting on this thing. But I've got the pedals pretty close. That way Wyatt has plenty of leg room. And if he needs to uh, 
move back ever I can always just angle the seat up so no issues there and it's it's easy to reach the shifter can shift it good so I feel good with it we'll leave it right there and uh we'll try to see where that back mount goes don't you just love when a plan comes together perfectly and here we go guys finished product i didn't realize it but my camera had died but you can see i added this bar right here so i officially certified myself in welding today i'm a certified gap welder you can't see it because i gap filled it or gap filled it i filled the gap but I'm very happy with that. So that bar is now in. Oh, I got to throw some paint on the other side. But that one is in. And that is where Wyatt's seat will bolt into right there. So that bar is in. I threw some paint on it. It loops around and runs back there. And then there's the second bar for a seat to bolt through. So I have got to drill some holes right here. We're going to use that bolt for that seat belt uh, mount and we'll use this one for this side and more than likely whenever his seat belts go through and over this one i'll probably put the seat belts these seat belts he has they um actually just wrap around the bar so i'm probably just going to go down to that bar down there or to this bar and just wrap them they don't actually mount so we really don't need this but that's it so Let's throw the seat back in there and see how it looks. And there it is. So everything went back in very nice. And you can see now why I had to add that extra bolt uh, bar. So here is where the bolts go through right here and right here. And you can see where that bar lands. Let's see if I can get my hand in here. Just like that. So see, that's how I figured out where it went. So now all I'll do is drill a hole, put my drill bit in the same bolt hole and drill through that and come all the way through on both sides, right there and right there and bolt her in. She'll be bolted there. And then I got to take the padding out and do the same thing. Drill straight down through there and she'll be done. Love it. So guys, I'm gonna call that a video here. Um, Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me. I am soaked. Like literally look like I just got out of a swimming pool. I mean, I, I it's so hot out here and I did not turn that fan on. I don't know why I didn't, but uh, anyway, all we have left to do is the front bumper, which I have to go get that. We got to do the front sheet metal here and there. We've got to get the window net mounted up. So I've got to get that ordered. We've got to fix this door right here because it's just, it's not right. We got to put the sheet metal back on the back, put the numbers on, put this visor on, and I believe that's it. We are waiting for a key right here to be able to crank it back up again. But other than that, she's good to go. Thank y'all so much. Y'all like and subscribe to this, uh, our channel. If y'all like to follow along with us, we appreciate all the support. We hope you guys have enjoyed this new 12 build. I know it's been the K9 and we've kind of drug it out, but we kind of shift plans halfway through this build and uh, Wyatt and them's family bought it. And so that's really cool. But like I said, if y'all would like to uh, become a member of this channel, it's just $1, I believe y'all go check that out. And also we still have our $50 uh, yearly uh, subscription page for our private membership. If y'all are interested in that hats, stickers and t-shirts still for sale so if y'all are interested just shoot me an email or message us on facebook we got a lot of cool content coming out soon so y'all be sure to stay tuned we'll catch you guys in the next one